What is up YouTube? It is the Adam and Wolf here. Welcome Wolfpack to my first solo playthrough and today we are playing Gravity Rust Remaster for the PlayStation 4. Alright, so we have to start by tapping the apple. So let us do that. Oh, that didn't really do anything. Alright, uh, I'm just going to fucking... There we go. <laughs> start mashing the next one. Okay, so... Gravity Rush Remastered. This is a remake of the PlayStation Vita release that was released in February, I believe, of 2012. Alright, hold on. Alright, so um, this game was released for PlayStation Vita in 2012, but it got a remake on the PS4 in 2015 because... Gravity Rush 2 was announced, which I still haven't played and um, am going to play after I finish this. But um, Gravity Rush was a game I actually got with my PlayStation Vita when I first got it. And I enjoyed the hell out of this game. This game was so unique at the time when I played it. And uh, I enjoyed it very much. That's, that's pretty much the point. Uh, I thought it was a very game. I honestly thought... It was a very good game. I thought it was one of the only Vita titles you should ever try to own, honestly, because I thought that this game was just phenomenal. Um, the quality for a portable game, it just had a lot of, you know, good things going for it. But anyway, uh, the story, which we're going to get into in a little bit, is uh, obviously because the game's called Gravity Rush, the game centers around gravity and manipulating gravity and stuff. Oh, well, there is a, one of the characters we're going to meet later. But, um, yeah, Gravity Rush, the PlayStation Vita, a remade for the, oh, there's Bay. <laughs> yeah, I love her. I love Raven. We'll meet her later. We're going to meet her later. She's, she's an interesting character. But, um, yeah, Gravity Rush. I keep saying Gravity Rush. This game, like, it's not a lot really to say about this game if to, um, God damn it. <laughs> I can't speak. God, I got the solo gameplay jitters. God, it's the LP curse. Um. But, um, yeah, Gravity Rush is definitely one of those games that I definitely enjoyed playing through. And I'm going to enjoy playing through it again. Only this time, better quality, 60 frames per second gameplay on PlayStation 4. Which I'm glad they did this because this allows people who didn't bother buying a Vita to actually play the first game. Which I love. Keiichiro okay, Toyama, Gravity Rush. It's funny because if you look at the intro to this without all like the weird CGI, uh, you know, CG uh, characters, the cell shaded look, you'd think this was a horror game. <laughs> all right, well, there she is. There's our main character, Cat, and a <laughs> shooting stars mean cat in the background. All right, well, our journey begins in a rundown, disgusting area. <laughs> Well, oh yeah, by the way, there's no dialogue in this game. It, it is all uh, gibberish. Kind of like Banjo-Kazooie, except like 90% less annoying. Alright, so what are you doing here? Are you lost too? Well, I don't have anything to give you, so roll along and find somewhere else to beg. Purr. <laughs> I like how I told it off and it was like, I still love you. Alright, well anyway. Now here it is, left stick to move. I'm pretty sure the controls are going to be changed because some of the uh, gimmick of the original game was that it used the gyroscope controls of the PlayStation Vita. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be a little bit different for this. All right, well, there we go. It's a full-on run. This is the basic move of the game. And trophy. All right. So let's go up here. But yeah, I haven't played this game in a minute. Actually, like, yeah, I would say I haven't played it since this. Like, I beat it once. Like, 100% of it on PlayStation Vita because I got the DLC and stuff. And then I just kind of dropped it. I never went back. Even though I really wanted to because, I, like I said, I really enjoyed this game. I thought this game was very, very unique for the time it was out. Definitely one of the better Vita games. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's a Rastafarian. Run. <laughs> All right. Oh, it does have gyroscope. When I move the controller, it moves the comic panels just like it did in the Vita. All right, cool. Well, anyway. He's reaching his rapist hand. Ah! <laughs> Episode 1. From Oblivion. Huh? Let go! <laughs> Please. I need... 
the fuck off me. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> She beat the shit out of him in one hit. Bother someone else. What? Wait. You don't understand. You gotta save my boy. Huh? Your boy? What's wrong? Is he in trouble? See? It's like I told you guys. They um Honestly, I think that uh the language in this game is derived from some kind of French. Because... It sounds very French-like, like the language. I mean, I know it's gibberish, but, you know, I just think that it's very French because the nature of the game. Like, this game very feels very steampunk noirish. I guess I could say. I don't really want to say it is for fear of someone being like, you fucking idiots, not that at all, but I think it is. So. Yeah. Well, that's a hint to Raven. But we're not going to meet her until later, so let's keep moving. Wow, these people are dressed like a uh, Osamu Tezuka characters, like Astro Boy. Well, there go the police. <laughs> Once again, look at the police doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Just like in real life. Uh, <laughs> your house is dirty. Clean it. <laughs> Should I clean it the fuck I want? Fuck you. Oh, you got black schmuck. You got that black schmuck. Oh, here we go. Yuji! Yuji! Yuji no Kyokure! <laughs> it's funny if it's Genji. He just appears in the game. It's an Overwatch Gravity Rush. Oh, well, uh, he's dead. In real life, he's gone. I'm not saving him. <laughs> Who the hell? He's gone already. In real life, he would have been dead by now. What's going on? Hurry! You saw him up there. My boy's trapped in that house. He'll get taken by the storm. But, but what am I supposed to do? You're like that crow girl, right? Use your cat to get up there and save him. Crow girl? What crow girl? Oh, drop the act. I saw you plunge from the sky and land without a scratch. Use that superpower of yours to go get my boy. Superpower? The hell are you talking about? I'm just regular. Oh, that, that's not eerie or fucking dramatically fucking <laughs> shot at all. <laughs> you must use the shooting star meme to your advantage. Get dank, cat. Get dank. <laughs> I don't have any superpowers. Oh, shit! Wow! Oh! Oh, it's not spelled Y-U-G-I, J-I. I said Y-U-G-I. It's not Yugi, it's U-G, Y-U-J-I. It's U-G, E-U-G-I-E, -E. that's weird. I'm, I'm standing on a wall? Did you do this? <laughs> Bitch, who else? <laughs> anyway, head toward the marker. All right, I like the 60 frames per second. It makes it feel different because even on the PlayStation Vita, this game wasn't 60 frames. This game was 30 frames per second, which isn't bad. But I, I like the, the the more smooth gameplay you get on the PlayStation 4. Now, two ninety nine at your local GameStop. Uh, <laughs> sponsored by GameStop. I'm kidding. They're not going to sponsor me. <laughs> That's the moment they find out. <laughs> he shouted us out and unsubscribe. <laughs> Alright, uh... Huh. Oh, it's almost like they don't want me to go through that ominous wall that just appeared in front of me. Whoop! Alright, so this is how you do it. Use R1 to float in midair. You use the right stick to control where you're going to go with gravity. Press R1 again. And there you go. Whichever uh, place you send Cat to, she automatically sticks to it, no matter what. Because her gravity powers allow her to stand on anything. She can stand upside down, right side up, upside, <laughs> left side up, you know. It's gravity, you know. You, you can manipulate it to your advantage in this game, which makes this game very fun gameplay-wise. Um, which is why I'm actually very hype, happy that I'm playing this right now. So, we're going to save Yuji. Don't worry, guys. We're going to save the poor boy. Oh, yeah, we got to... See? As long as you're using your gravity powers, you can stay on anything. You can also go back to neutral if you press L1, which I don't think we can do yet because we're still going through the tutorial of the game. But anyway, all right, R1 to float, R1 to shift gravity and fall forward. 
There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about the series getting destroyed. Oh yeah, I'll tell you guys right now. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. This game is Sailor Moon as fuck. Um, <laughs> especially from what I've heard about Gravity Rush 2, where we're getting more and more characters in that game. Um, which, by the way, I it's out at this point in time when I'm recording this. I still have not played it. Um, I actually bought both of them recently so I could do this playthrough. And I want to play both of them for the channel. But um, I know that um, the newer one has more gravity manipulating characters to the point where I'm like, okay, they just went from Sailor Moon to Sailor Moon R. <laughs> so, like, now there's more characters and, like, more lore and shit. It's kind of funny. Stick on that. There we go. I don't want you to stick on that weird fucking pillar. Alright, there we go. Almost there! <laughs> Just 10,000 more pillars to jump on! Oh! Oh! There we go. Oh. Save her! Save him, sailor! Oh. Goddamn. Well, <laughs> damn. <laughs> well, I'm surprised that as a cop he didn't pull out his gun and try and do something. Alright, uh, here we go. Well, uh-oh. Well, well, he's dead. Except I'm God. Come here, boy. Mm. You saw that parkour parkour? Hashtag hardcore parkour. Cat is amazing. Uh-oh. It's, it's weird, because that form, when she goes into the gravity form, it often reminds me of something. I don't know exactly what I remember the name. I don't remember the name at all. But I know that it reminds me of something I've seen in the anime. And I know that's not shocking. Like, oh, of course it reminds you of the animals. But, you know, I'm just trying to think of what specific one. Oh, she saved my boy. Hair flapping. Holy shit. All right. Well, saved him. <laughs> you get the thumbs up of approval. <laughs> you really are a superhero. Oh no. Well, <laughs> cat, cat, cat. You, you're not fooling anybody. It's, it's time to stop. It's, it's time to. You, you, it's time to. Go. Oh, and don't you dare. Couldn't act like you couldn't use your gravity powers to float that back up there. I don't care if you don't remember anything. It's that easy. <gasps> no! What did you do? I... I didn't... You didn't what? I asked you to save my boy, not destroy my house. This guy's an asshole. <laughs> Seriously, this guy's a dickhead. Really, We just saved his son's life. He's over here caring about his fucking apartment. We got this shit. Our house. Give us back our house. But but it wasn't my fault. I wasn't trying I was trying to stop it from falling. <laughs> Great job you did of that. I knew I shouldn't have trusted a gravity shifter, a bunch of good for nothing troublemakers. All of mom's things were in that house. You have to bring it back. Now Bitch, I'm gonna bring nothing back. <laughs> but <laughs> Alright, we get more comic book panels. I didn't do anything wrong. But that's what's funny. She says she didn't do anything wrong. She legitimately didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> All she did was what she could. That's fucked up. Oh, well, here she goes. Hey, where are you going? Hmm, shifters are all rotten. You said it, Pops. I just saved your son's life. Fuck you. Whatever. No. <laughs> she was constipated. What was I supposed to do? I was only trying to help. Hmm? What is it? You see something? A door. Oh, let's turn it. Nope. There it is. Oh, god damn. <laughs> well, definitely not going down there. Last dream must free. It's a cool place of fish you do one see. English! Plans you should do. Plans shall be man to rest up once shall fit. To bless him. This is certainly English, I swear to God it is. This is uh, I'm telling you, she's speaking clear English. I can understand her without subtitles, I swear to God. It's that easy. Alright, what are you anyway? Were you the one changing gravity? Brr. Ah, 
What now? I guess we're both alone. So we better stick together. Uh. <laughs> He's like, oh. Mm, <laughs> I suppose I should give you a name, huh? How about Dusty? You like that? Here, Dusty. Here, kitty kitty. <laughs> Big bitch. Yeah, he totally likes that name. What? You don't like it? I think it's a great name. <laughs> so get the fuck out of here. I'll make a better name for myself. And now we are introduced to the hub world of Gravity Rush. And we got to chase that crow. But for now, I'm going to end the part right here. So thank guys for watching. And next time, motherfuckers. <laughs>